shooting another Q&A with my dad. Hi. My dad's in town right now. And so I thought, hey, I don't have any content. <laughs> Let's make a video. I'm whoring you out for views. How does it feel? So I asked you guys on Twitter to leave us uh, some questions. It was very cute. I was like, yeah, dad, do you want to make a video? We'll do a little Q&A. He was like, yeah, but doesn't that take a while for people to respond? And I was like, <laughs> dad, you don't know. Okay, here's a good one to start off on, actually. Okay. From Francisco, first video game you ever played. First video game I ever played. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought this was going to be a Q&A by you. No, it's a little bit of both. A little bit of both. The very first video game I played was Pong back in 1976, probably. Mm -hmm. Black and white TV. You guys probably all know what Pong is. The whole thing was self-contained like this. Like one device that had two paddles on it. I like an on-off switch. One was player, that on the one Atari? player, two player. No, it was. It was just it was, Pong. It was the machine was Pong, and you cook, connected Wait. it to your TV set. <laughs> I didn't. And I didn't realize sit. that Pong was a console. Yeah, you had to sit like right next to each other because you had to use the that's controls key. on the thing. I think that's how it was. That's my memory of it anyway. How did you decide Ethan's name? Uh, what Ethan's <laughs> name would be when he was born? Also, somebody else asked. That was from Breezio Four. Somebody else asked earlier, I don't know where it is in here, but somebody else asked, were there any other names that you were thinking about? I know that if I was going to be a girl, I was going to be Alyssa. Yes, with two S's. Did, was there any other boy names? I don't think there were, were any other boy names. Uh, we were convinced that you were going to be a girl. Huh. Uh, your mom, you were your mother's second child. So your mom was like, this feel, it's carrying different. When I had Andrew, his brother, it carried, it was up, I don't remember if it was high or low or left or right or whatever, but she hmm. was like, it's carrying different, so I think it's a girl. So we focused on girl names and then. What were the other girl names? I don't remember. And then we had a sonogram. So we didn't, we picked out all the, we focused on girl names. She said it was gonna be a girl. We go have a sonogram. Yeah, you're having a boy. Oh shit. So, uh, so, so then Got him we. right from the beginning. Oof, then we focused on boy names and then. Uh, Do I remember was, like the first boy name that was like, well, how about Derek? I didn't like any of the boy names, but I don't remember what they were specifically. I'm glad you didn't name me Derek. No offense to all the Dereks out there. Nothing wrong with Derek. But I don't like your name. <laughs> <laughs> so the how we landed on Ethan, it's, it's, I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's kind of, is it? Like I wish it the story was, oh, my great great grandfather who invented ice. Uh, his name was Ethan. Who invented uh, ice? <laughs> yeah, my great grandfather did not invent ice. That's just made up. But I'm pretty um, sure nature invented ice. Uh, so anyway, so uh, I was watching the first Mission Impossible movie, and so I had never heard that name before, oddly enough, or at least I don't remember. And I was like, Ethan. I really. You That's know. it. Uh. What would you and Ethan do together when he was a child? Pulled me out of school for Harry Potter movies. Yeah, that was really, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I went cool. to pick up Ethan once. I, don't, I probably was with the second one. I don't remember. Uh, and I was yeah, because like, me and Granny went to the first one. So I said, Ethan, you have a dentist appointment tomorrow. And he's like, uh, as most people do. <laughs> and so I lied to the school, of course, and say, yeah, I have to pick up Ethan. He's Which you don't need to do. Yeah, I could you have can... just said, I'm taking my child. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> So I go to pick up Ethan and he gets in the car. I was like, you ready to go to the dentist? And you're like, yeah. And you probably asked some questions about it, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, and then. Why would I have teeth? Yeah. <laughs> I only have a tooth. Uh, and then I was like, we're not going to the dentist. And you were like, you were in the back seat. Because you I'm were. being kidnapped! You were in a car seat until you yeah. were like a senior in high school. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ethan, we're not, going, we're not going to the dentist. And I was like, we're going to go see Harry Potter. And you lost your shit. You were like, ah! It was very exciting. Uh, we went to every Harry Potter movie. So except for the first one, we went to er every Harry Potter movie either at midnight or opening day. Yeah. Mostly opening day. Yep. I think the last like two we went at midnight. But did Ethan ever have a special stuffed animal, toy, blanket, etc., that he carried around as a kid? So you had Blue Guy. Blue Guy. It was a blue. <laughs> it was a blue bear that I named Blue Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Another parenting of the year moment. Uh, the way he, if you sat him, like you're in your like when you were a baby baby, mm -hmm. like if you were in your carrier thing, but it had like a thing like this or we blankets or whatever, and we would prop blue guy just right and we could put the bottle in your mouth and then we could, like at restaurants or whatever, and mm -hmm. then we could eat and you would just sit there with the propped bottle in your mouth. What were your thoughts on Ethan becoming a YouTuber instead of going to college? Did you believe in him? <laughs> you can answer honestly. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I, 
I wanted you to go to film school. It's not like I wanted you to go to normal college. Normie school. And get like a degree in, you know, nothing or whatever. Um, <laughs> but, degree. but, you know, I was concerned that, you know, well, I, I never, I didn't think you'd get necessarily to the level you are now. At least not this quick. I mean, you know, it's it's like my kid likes to play basketball mm-hmm. and he wants to be in the NBA. Okay, great. I'll take yeah. it all your games and practices and stuff. But the likelihood of that actually happening. Pretty slim. Pretty slim. So I thought, well, wouldn't it be great if you had something else to fall back on? Mm-hmm. Um, and it was something that you like to do. Like you're very, you're still mm-hmm. very interested in film, obviously, mm-hmm. and be behind the camera and all that kind of stuff. So I was nerve. So he took a gap year, as he's probably talked about before, and then he took gap year turned into gap two year. So Ethan, when Ethan said, "Hey, this opportunity came up. Do you think I should do it?" and I was like, "Absolutely, one hundred percent, you should do this." Um, yeah. Because I don't think you know these types of opportunities don't come up every day, mm-hmm. and so um, I was one hundred percent supportive of you coming out to LA. Thanks, Dad. Chasing your dream. How old was Ethan when he stopped peeing the bed? <laughs> Have you stopped peeing the bed? <laughs> what was Ethan's favorite show to watch as a kid that drove you crazy? Oh. <laughs> when you were like one and a half, you got pneumonia. Mm-hmm. And I had to stay with you in the hospital, like around the clock. And your mom had the flu. So I like some a friend would come in for like an hour to stay with you while I went home and like took care of your mom and made her food and whatever rough. and then I would come back to the hospital and we watched all we watched was fucking blues clues like around <laughs> the clock I was like <gasps> but why though oh I'm like God. one ac- I'm one at that point like I'm not gonna remember <clears throat> well you were very you, on you, alias were, you were very interested alias yeah you were very interested in it but then you watched like it wasn't so much so much shows although you watched a lot of Elmo stuff but it was more movies that you watched Elmo. like you wore this the war, wore the tape out. These we had a lot of VHS early on. Yeah. So you wore the tape out on Lion King. You wore the mm-hmm. tape out on Balto. Did we have Benji on VHS? I think we had some sort of ghetto Benji. I don't know if it was the yeah. original one or not. But um, and then you had Simba the White Lion. <laughs> was it? Simba. No, it was Kimba the White Lion. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Kimba. Kimba the White Lion. Kimba, the White Lion. Yeah. Did he ever go through any phases? Like how some girls have a horse face. Well, I had a horse face, actually. <laughs> you also uh, were super into dogs. Mm-hmm. And so this one Christmas, you were convinced that you were going to get a puppy. And every box that you opened, every present that you opened, um, you cried if it wasn't a puppy. Like even boxes that I did were the like same thing with big. horses, right? No, I don't think you cried over the horses. But like you legit thought like a box that was this big... <laughs> had a puppy in it <laughs> well, and so you opened it up kids and you're got like, a strong imagination and you were like you just started crying and we were like oh wow okay this is gonna be rough there's like 19 more presents left <laughs> <laughs> what was ethan like as a child is the level of crackhead energy the same as it was or worse when he was younger crackhead energy uh, you were a really good baby actually like mm-hmm. you were not you were not hard to raise but as a child. Well, that's when you raise a child, when you're a child. You were very, very easy to raise. I was pretty talkative. I talked a lot. You were very talkative. And you could you could hang out with adults, no problem. And yeah. We have a lot of we have a lot of like home video of uh it was when we were like when we first got the house and we were going to just like see it for the first time. Uh of just me in the backseat of the car just rambling to myself. <laughs> Mika asks, how good at bowling are you? Uh I am not good at bowling. You're pretty hit or miss. <laughs> I'm hit like sometimes Sometimes you bowl really good. Sometimes I bowl really good. Like I think my best game was like yeah. a one seven. I would say you're pretty average and you're inconsistently good. That's pretty accurate. Yeah. 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 How do you feel that your son has put content uh, on his and another man's YouTube channel of them fully nude, doing things like painting each other to be super villains, and them drawing full body art for a profit? I don't know, but this kind of seems like porn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do I feel about it? Well, I know what context it was done in. So I didn't really answer the question other than like I knew what what context it was done in, and it was all done in sort of good natured. Those are the videos that you show to people though, when you're like, what does your son do a living? Absolutely, you're just like this. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And they go, oh, that's great. Because I want to get out of the conversation. (laughs) Mm -hmm. It's perfect for that. If you could live anywhere else, what where, where, where would it be? Like in the world? I would have to go scope out some places to see if it was somewhere I 
would like to live, but within the United States, uh, San Francisco would be cool. I think Austin would be cool. I wouldn't mind having like an apartment in New York City, something like that, that would be cool. Lots of cool places around the world. There's so many cool places around the world that I've not- The world's such a cool place. That I've not really been to. Were there any words Ethan couldn't pronounce as a child when he was growing up? Almost all of the words you couldn't pronounce. I still can't <laughs> pronounce most of the words. <laughs> what was your reaction when Ethan uh, decided to move to LA? But do you remember your reaction? Because I remember your reaction. I got the call from Mark and then you were at work. And so I called you and I was like, or I texted you and I was like, hey, when are you gonna be home from work? That was kind of a weird question because usually it didn't matter. Right. Um, and so you were like, I don't know, in like 20 minutes, why? And I was like, well, because uh, something happened and I wanna talk to you about it. And you were like, is it something big? And I was like, yeah. And so you were like, okay, and so you came home, and then oh. I told you, and you thought that I had gotten the girl that I was dating pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> so that was fun. Yeah, good That times. must have been a fun ride home. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite memory of Ethan when he was younger? I could give you one of my favorite memories on your, the day you were born. Ooh, the day I, I was born? You, I think you know what it is. A little background first, because that'll be why I was dressed the way I was, otherwise it might sound weird, but. So, uh, Pregnancies, I mean, the birth is moving along, you know, like the, uh, and so uh, the doctor was like, well, why don't you get in the hot tub, which sometimes that helps move the process along or whatever. And I was like, cool. So I, you know, we had known that that was a possibility. So I had a bathing suit. So I went and put a bathing suit on and we get in the hot tub for like 10 seconds. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, time to go. Ah! So like, you know, we didn't have time for margaritas, which was kind of a bummer. I hope your <clears> mom <throat> didn't have time for a margarita. <laughs> and so we, so we, you were born, I was in a bathing suit, no shirt, sort of half wet when you were born. Uh, and so. Well, I was fully wet, so. Yeah, you, know. you, were, you had stuff all over you. Was, really was I? I looked like a blueberry, didn't I? Yeah, you looked like a goopy. blueberry. You looked like someone beat the shit out of you with a stick. After you, so you immediately went up on your mom's chest and then I cut the umbilical cord. And then shortly after that, um, I had you on my chest and I was holding you and you had your very first poop. Uh, if any of you are familiar with the first poops of babies, there's something called merconium, which is like tar. That sounds like a toxic, <clears throat> like. It was pretty toxic, <laughs> both in smell and texture. Like it was like goopy, gross, like it was all, ugh. It was like, so I had to like go take a shower. I was shower. holding that for a while. Yeah, you know? yeah. So that was one of my cherished mem memories of of you. Did right you out laugh of the box. it off though? I guess so. I did it, what was your reaction? Like you did you throw me, me or? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I was like, somebody take the. And it was almost like Let's take. This. It was sticking, so there was like there was like this connection of poop tar. And like, boy, was there! A but connection. it was like wow, wow, wow. Yeah. And that's how we bonded for the first that's time. That's right. That's right. Well, the SD card is about to marry a man of memory, so we gotta go, fam. Dad, how was your time here? Uh, it was great. I wish there were more snacks, but um, yeah. other than that, it's been swell. There's new Mimi merch that's in the description. Give them that sweet merch plug. There's some sweet, sweet merch. Um, I don't know that I've seen it. So how do I know how it's in a box it upstairs? I'll, oh, I, I'll go after. check it out. But I did see that the samples came. So uh, when is that merch going to be available? It's available, available right now. Available right now. Where can they get it? You can get it right now. Crankgameplace.com. Yeah. Check out the link in the description and go and get it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks. Thanks for having me. Everybody, let my dad know happy birthday. Hey, thank you. Even though by the time this is up, it won't be your birthday anymore. Well, we could like just like birthday month, birthday week. It's at 2%. We got to go. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.